4.6 part 1. You are going to get problems like this where each side has a, a variable in the exponent. So you need to find like bases. So in this one it would be 2. So 2 squared x equals then 2 to the negative 1 of x minus 3 end up with 2x equals negative 1 x minus 3 distribute your negative end up with negative x plus 3 then add your x over and you get 3x equals 3 divide by 3 x equals 1 Okay, so same thing, we got a bunch of uh, same base ones, so in this one we would get 3 squared of times 2x equals 3 cubed, x minus 1, end up with 4x equals 3x minus 3 when I distribute all those. Minus our 3 over, x over, and you get x equals negative 3. Here is 10 to the 10th times 7x plus 1 equals 10 to the 3rd, 3x minus 2. End up with 70x plus 10 equals 9x minus 6. Minus over, you get 61x minus over, and you end up with, oh, I messed up here. Let me go back. I put 10 to the 10th here. That's how it's actually supposed to be. It's 10 squared, not 10 to the 10th. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, distribute your 2 through, and you'd end up with 14x plus 2 equals 9x minus 6 minus your 9x over you end up with 5x plus 2 equals negative 6 minus 2 over and you get negative 8 divide by 5 and you get negative eight fifths On this one, okay, it is <clears throat> 3 to the 4th power, and then that would be 3 to the negative 1, distribute through and you end up with 12 minus 4x equals negative 5x plus 6. We can do this just because our bases are the same. You know that. Okay? Add 5x over and you end up with x. Minus 12 over, you end up with negative 6. Okay? Here, we can't get it into like bases. So I could go 2 squared. I can't really do anything with 11. So we can do something else. We go we can put this in our, we can multiply each side by log because whatever we do to one side we must do to the other. Bring our x forward and we end up with x log of 4 equals log 11 divide by log 4 end up with x equals approximately 1.72 and that would round up again so it would be 1.730 and that is the answer. You could also do it another way. You could move this to x equals log base 4 of 11 
And then you could just do your change of base here, which is log 11 over log 4. Which is the same answer that we have down here. Okay, so same thing here, guys. So we go log of 7 to the 9x equals log 15. Bring our 9x forward. Divide by log 7. Okay? And then div uh, you're going to end up dividing all of that then by 9. Type that into your calculator and you'll get an approximation of point one five five. Okay, over here. First, we got to get everything else on the other side. We could, um, so we would get e to the negative point three x, and we still got four. We're going to add seven over, so we get twenty. Divide by four, and we get e to the negative point three x equals five. Okay, um, we will. It doesn't matter if you natural log both sides or anything. Okay. We can log both sides in this case, and we get negative 0.3x e equals log 5. Okay, divide by, you, and you could do this all in one step instead of like over here where I did two steps. You can do it all in one step. You divide by 0.3, negative 0.3 log e. Divide by negative 0.3 log e. Type that into your calculator and you would get, and you end up with negative 5 point three six five. Okay. Now we're going back, we're going to review some here. So this has a base of 7, I can make the other one a base of 7 as well, which is 7 squared. Have the same bases, therefore their exponents need to equal. Three x plus four. equals 4x plus 2 when I distribute. All minus 3x over minus 2 over and I get 2 equals x or x equals 2. Okay, again, we have, uh, we have a variable in our exponents, so we need to get the same basis. End up with 3 cubed, and I, I wrote it a little different there. So 3 cubed to the 4x Minus 1 equals, and then this one would be 3 squared to the 3x plus 8. Distribute, you get 12x minus 3 equals 6x plus 16. Minus your 6 over, end up with 6x. Add your 3 over, end up with 19. Divide by 6. And you end up with 19 over 6. Okay, there's no way here that we could get the same basis, so therefore, because in 2 to the 3rd, you know, 20, we don't have anything. So we're going to do our log 8, put our x in the front, equals 20, divide by log 8. Oh, sorry, should have put the log 20. Divide by log 8, and I end up with log 20 over log 8. 
So log 20 divided by log 8 when you put it in your calculator and you end up with 1.441. Last one here. First you got to get it on its own, so 0.5x. Add that over, you end up with 4.25. Okay, can't find... Okay, I, there's no way I can find anything there. Anyway, even if you couldn't, you can always use this. So log of 0.5 of 4.25 divided by log 0.5. And I end up with log of 4.25 divided by log... of 0.5. I type that in my calculator and I get a of negative 2.087. So x is approximately 2.087.